Hi everyone, this is Carrick from Angry Centaur Gaming, and today I'm bringing you my Grand Theft Auto 5 official trailer analysis. This morning, Rockstar released a new official trailer, and by official, I mean pretty lackluster, but I'll get to that. For a long time, it's been questioned what exactly GTA would look like versus the bull shots and touched up trailers, and today I think we got the closest comparison that we'll ever get, so let's begin. Now the first thing that's noticeable here is a somewhat low texture look, which is fine as this is on current consoles and I'm happy to see a closer to accurate reflection of what's happening because we don't want the game to fucking crush the life out of the current gen systems. Here you can see a mix of low and high detail textures on the left and right respectively with the high level texture locations having a good depth to them and accurately reflecting light. Here we move on to water, which has always been a sore spot with me, even in GTA 4 or Melon Water, as it was jokingly called. Here they don't appear to have really stepped it up. Just Cause 2, this isn't. More like Just Cause 0.5. Also, from the look of the cutscene here, they are most likely using some kind of FXAA or another variant of anti-aliasing that gives it that soft look. It's not bad at all, though. Ah, heists. My sheer desire is that this game is going to be like Payday 2 had been thrown into the game. The AI is given a Mensa upgrade, and the shooting mechanics are at least somewhat translated over. Another thing I've noticed in both cutscenes and gameplay is a far higher detail of accuracy in the shadows, both in representation and in location, where GTA and many other games in the past look like someone just said, hey, look, this is a good place for a fucking shadow, I bet, and then said, make it so. And here we see a post filter with some anti-aliasing and some disappointing ground textures that apparently came from the Sega Dreamcast era. Gotta expect that though. Notice the cloth physics in the man's necklace as they run. Also, I noticed that unlike past games, even in their cutscenes, the power lines and such don't disappear and the writing on the billboard is still clear enough to see. Rockstar are kings of animation, taking other development studios out to the back shed and beating them down with excellence, a subtle hand, and talent that most likely gives random passerbys erections. Just amazing. Torture me over mistakes I made over a decade ago. You're back in the game? Now here's where some things get interesting, not only with some fairly detailed textures, but what looks like some kind of map in the background with highlights on it. Side quests, perhaps? Also, Rockstar loves to throw tons of random stuff in their scenes, and here you can see that they always seem to understand how to make a place seem lived in, looking good so far. I am loving this shot. Past open world games are like fucking clone machines with the same 15 characters dressing and undressing faster than a casting couch session at Nickelodeon, but here we have a good subset of characters with proper attire for the entire location. Though there is some strange LOD issues with the signs in the backgrounds compared to other shots in previous trailers. This part of the trailer is brought to you by Frigidaire Appliances, because their washing machines are built Ford tough. Speaking of Ford, I wonder if Harrison Ford is in that fridge up there. Or maybe it's a dishwasher or a clothes washer. Regardless, I love the random bits exploding. And the fire and smoke effects are really well done. My score, get your own. You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Realistic battle damage! This is probably my favorite shot because of the mix of the typical hero simply being so badass that he's ignoring the cops behind him, and also due to the way the game's handling lighting. This looks a bit closer to the uh, Ice Hanser mods for GTA 4, which is only a good thing. Well, that's about it. It's a short trailer, and we have just a bit of time before the game comes out. It's looking more and more realistic to what these current-gen systems will be capable of, and that's only a good thing. The game's so stock full of stuff to do, apparently that programming it is probably comes with a psychology license and group therapy. There's just so much stuff. So this is Carrick from Angry Centaur Gaming. Thanks for watching and listening to me blather about tech. If you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't, hit dislike. Share if you can, and always make sure to stand right next to the other guy in the urinal. It's for comfort. Peace out, bitches.